Today we are at the Three Gorges Museum. Let's go. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Going to the museum. Woohoo! <laughs> Come in this close space, Allison. Let's have a little interview. Is this your first time here? No, actually, this is my second time. I was here in February of last year, 2018. Mm -hmm. uh, what did you find here last year? When we were here last year, we went to about every single exhibit. There's about four or five floors here, mm -hmm. and we went to every single exhibit. Um, I learned a lot, but there was so much that uh, I wanted to come back and, and check it out. And as for this time, what would you like to explore more? I want to know more about the Three Gorges. Mm -hmm. I want to know more about what Chongqing looked like back mm -hmm. two or three hundred years ago. I want to know what kind of fish the Chongqing fish? people ate. Oh, so many good questions. but. Why not we find a tour guide and uh, maybe the person will also uh, give us all the answers that you would like to know. That sounds like a good idea. Let's cool. go. Let's go. 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 Find one. Hello. Hello. Hi. Welcome to the Chongqing China Three Gorges Museum. This exhibition is the Gorges Three, the Splendid Three Gorges exhibition, and it introduces the history, cultural, and natural attractions of the Chongqing city and the Three Gorges area. My question is: Have you heard of Three Gorges before? I actually I have. I was here about uh, about a year ago, February of 2018, but it was a very quick tour, so I didn't really get to see a lot of of the uh, different exhibits. So, mm -hmm. and this boy is about the Three Gorges in mm -hmm. Chongqing, mm -hmm. and it's also a very famous tourist attraction. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. A very quick question: Do you know what are the Three Gorges? I don't. If you give me a second, I can find out. No, <laughs> you probably know though, right? Yes, you can okay. find the questions for our audiences. Maybe they don't know either. Okay. All right. <laughs> the Three Gorges region boasts of abundant tourist resources, including the large amount of the aquatic resources. Here in the display are some models of the river fish living in the Yangtze River. So these are some of the fish that they actually eat. They, they actually eat? Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. No. Yeah, we eat them. All right. But not the paddlefish. Right? That paddlefish we not Protective. because they are protected yeah, animals. Okay. There are so many fishes and which kind of fish did you eat? The fish that I ate is that one right there. It's the grass fish. Yeah, grass carp. I think that's what they called it. Uh -huh. Do you like it? How true. How true. <laughs> 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 and here we can see a map of the three gorges and Patrick. I would like to give you the answers. Finally, I've been waiting all day for it. <laughs> <laughs> Just um, kidding. Okay, uh, Three Gorges. This is a Chui Tang Gorge, and uh, then Wuxia Gorge, and uh, the last Xilin Gorge. Three okay. Gorges. Names of the Three Gorges. So say them again. Uh, Chui Tang. Chui Tang. Gorge. Uh huh. And the second, Wu Gorge. Wu. Wu. Wu Gorge. And third. Xilin. Xilin. Uh -huh. This exhibition is the Chongqing City Road, which introduces the Chongqing's urbanization over the past hundred years. It's okay. a miniature of, of Chongqing, and uh, this is the Yuzhong Peninsula. Okay, so this is where all of downtown is, basically. Um, like, what are one of the what? Give me one of the districts. It's Yuzhong District. Yuzhong District, okay. Yes. Okay. And what river? One part of the downtown and river, two rivers. 
Okay. Uh huh. You mean like what's the name of this river? Oh, wrong one. It's the Yangtze River. Oh, Yangtze River. Okay. Uh -huh. And then what's the other river? The green one is Yang the Jialing River. Okay. Two rivers, and at the confluence of the two rivers, it is Chao Tianmen. It's hard to believe it's changed it this much. So, you know. Yes. I mean, this is amazing. The foundation of Chongqing can be dated to the 1929. This street shows how the Chongqing people lived in the early 20th century. These were the commonly seen shops at that time. The hot pot shop. And this painting shows us the view of Chao Tianmen Dock in the 18th. This one is the Chao Tianmen Dock's nightmare view. The docks witnessed the development and urbanization of Chongqing for the past two, near 200 years. This exhibition is the ancient Bai Yu. In the ancient time, the coast landscape and the limestone caverns found in the Chongqing region provided natural shelter to the human society in its early stages. Approximately uh, 200,000 years before present, the humans living in the mid-Paleolithic age and in the Three Gorges region, we discovered the Xinlong cave site. In this site, we discovered the still golden ivory. That's the end of these three exhibitions, which generally introduces the history and culture of the Chongqing city and the Three Gorges region, and help you enjoy this tour. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. it. Allison, I have to ask you a question about the exhibit that is behind us, the Alphonse Mucha exhibit. Tell me about it. Uh, actually, it's a temporary exhibition in the museum. From time to time, the Three Gorges Museum has prepared many temporary exhibitions for visitors here. Okay. Uh, and about the three we went before, they are permanent exhibitions. Okay. Anytime you come here, you can visit them. But as for things like this, you have to pay attention to the exhibition time. Do you like this trip? I liked it. I like uh, I like museums in general. Um, when I was a little kid, I liked coming to museums. Uh, it was good. It was good. A lot of. Uh, I mean, you could probably spend a half day here and still not see everything. I mean, there's so much to see, so many different exhibits, but uh, very interesting history here in Chongqing.